In this video, I'm going to show you my brand new Google Maps web scraper that allows me and now you to extract unlimited amounts of information from Google Maps with just a click of a button. If you want to see the full build of how I put this web scraper together, you can check out the two live streams on my channel. But today I'm going to show you how it works, how you can install it and a quick little rundown of how I put it together. Before I get into it, if you want to work with me on any kind of AI or automations project, make sure to book a free time with me down in the description below. But anyway, let me show you my brand new Google Maps scraper. So I'm over on Google Maps. And what we could do is just type in a search result for whatever kind of industry we're looking to scrape in. I'm going to start off with HVAC. And I'm specifically going to search the Dallas Fort Worth area for this example. But obviously, you can pick any area you want. And we have all of this good information here for all of these contacts. And all we have to do once we have our Google Maps scraper installed is just come up here and then click on scrape Google Maps. Apps. And look at that. We have all the data right here, literally in a table. We have everything like the title of the business or the name of the business, the rating of the reviews, the amount of reviews, phone number, the industry that they're in, the address, the website link, and then lastly, the Google Maps URL if you want to check out the listing from here. And I think we have only like 20 or so businesses, but how we get the rest of them is if we just scroll all the way down to the bottom here, we'll unlock all of the information for all of these businesses. And once we get to the end, you'll see we've hit this. You've reached the end of the list here. And then we can just come back up here, scrape Google Maps. And there we go. We have even more data about all the businesses that are on this page. So it only works when you scroll down all the way to the bottom of the Google Maps search. But from here, you basically just get the raw data of like 120 ish contacts or so of everyone in this list. And then from here, we can just name the title. I'll call it Texas HVAC. And then we can download the CSV. And if I open this up quickly on my broken version of Excel, you'll see we have all the information like our titles, ratings, reviews, phone numbers, industries, addresses, websites, and the Google Maps links right here. And we have what looks like to be 123 contacts. Um, I think that's actually 120 contacts plus the additional two contacts up here that were advertisements. We have all our good information here that you can use to do whatever you want with for cold calling, automating, all that good stuff, literally with just a click of a button. So to continue on here, let's try some more. I'm gonna type in real estate in this area as well. We got some more businesses. If I just scroll all the way to the bottom, once we hit at the end of the list once again i'll just come back over here scrape google maps and look at that we have another massive list of everything that we found on this google maps search and we can just type in texas real estate download csv and once again we have more good data on all of these businesses and if the information doesn't exist it'll leave it blank but yeah you can come in here and make personalized emails campaigns phone calls or whatever and you have your phone number here the website lots of of good stuff here. Let's do a couple more. If I want to do like lawn care, maybe I want to hit up some people in landscaping space. We can just go all the way down to the bottom here and get all of these companies. And then once we're at the bottom, again, come up to the scraper and scrape Google Maps. Look at that. We've got all the good stuff here. Literally in just a click of a button. There's not much you have to do. And this works for almost every industry that has information in this list here. So if we type in stuff like website design. If you want to contact local website design agencies in the Texas area, let's get all these goods. We've reached the end of the list. Boom, boom. Here we go. All of the juicy information scraped in seconds. We can name this Design Texas. 121, 120 contacts already right here from Google Maps. Isn't that exciting? You get the idea. Also, if you aren't on on a Google Maps tab and you do try to scrape something, it'll tell you go to Google Maps, to which it'll bring you to Google Maps. So if you like that demo of my Google Maps scraper, make sure to drop a like on this video because now I'm going to show you how to install it step by step so you can get this working on your machine. Let's go. So I'm going to have a link down below to where you can get all the information for the extension, but it will basically include these four files here, which you'll need to extract from the folder that include all the necessary information in order to get this extension to work. It's real simple. All we have to do is just hop on over to 
to our browser of choice here. I'm on Brave, but this also works for Chrome. Come to the little hamburger style menu right here and then click on extensions or go to your extensions tab. Once again, I'm on Brave, so it might look a little bit different if you're on Chrome, but we could just come up here to the load unpacked button in the top left corner. But we just got to find where we extract the folder with our Google Maps easy scrape here and then go inside of it, select the folder and you're ready to go. This works on both Mac and PC. This is browser based. So it's pretty much going to work for any browser that runs on Chromium and we're all ready to go. Now you just head back on over to Google Maps. Let's just type in something like, I don't know, law. And we get all these attorney offices in the Columbus area here. I'll just scroll all the way down once again and then come to our extension window here. Make sure we have the Google Maps easy scrape pinned and just click on this scrape Google Maps and we've got all the information once again. Look at that. All nice and neatly organized in a row for you to download and use for whatever you want. Look at that. And yeah, this project is pretty much free and open source. I'll have links down below to where you can get all the project files. And if you did like this plugin, make sure to leave a like on the video. But now I just want to do a quick little run through of how this scraper works so you can put together something similar for yourself. I coded this all with AI and ChatGPT. I did very little coding at all. Like I said before, I have a full live stream of me putting this together. And I basically just keep asking ChatGPT to print out the information until I get what I want. But let's dive into VS Code a little bit more so I can show you what I mean. So this Google Maps extension consists of four different files here. And these four files when loaded into our browser, basically tell our browser what kind of extension this is and how to use it. The map.png, pretty self-explanatory, just the icon of the app. I didn't really know what to pick, so I just used the map emoji. The manifest.json. This is basically the informational structure of how we want to display and load the app inside of Google Chrome. You can see it has things like the name, the description, the icons here, and then also the pop-up that we want to run. And then also some permissions here, which are pretty key. This is a pretty standard looking manifest file for Google Chrome. You can just type into chat GPT, like, can you build me a manifest file for Google Chrome extension? And it will pop out something very similar to this. But then if you notice, this runs the popup.html script, which if we head over to here, we have all of these styling options of how this scraper looks. So you can see here, we just have a very simple HTML breakdown with some super simple styles and also a font installed for our Google Maps easy scrape. Just some body styles, button styles, input styles, some table styles to get it looking nice and pretty, similar to how you see it here. And then we just have some simple HTML to add in the H1, some extra links, and then some content to check the URL, and then also the buttons here, the input if you wanna change the name of the download button, and then as well as this section here to display the table. And all of this gets populated by this pop-up JS down here. Now this pop-up JS script is loaded in when we run the plugin every time we click on it. So if we head into the pop-up JS, also the last file of this scraper, we have a couple things here that I want to point out on how this came together. We have this listener script right here, which basically allows us to interact with the buttons and the pages when we're on a tab and when we want to scrape the content that's on the page. So we can see things like it detects the buttons here and also detects if we're on a Google search URL. And then if we're not, it tells us to go to the maps search URL here, and then it gets rid of all the buttons and inputs. And then if we do click on the action button, it then runs this section here, which basically scrapes the data and then puts it into that table as I shown you right here. And then lastly, if we click on the download button, it then takes the data that we got from the table in this function and then downloads it to this name, unless we choose to put one inside of the download input. And then kind of the crux of this scraper is this function scrape here. What this does is it looks for every single ahref that has this Google Maps place URL. And then inside of that query selector that has this URL, it finds the container, which is equal to this section here. And that is basically these boxes right here. It's basically this box right here. So it finds all of these boxes and then it goes through each one and then picks apart the information to get the rating, reviews, the phone, industry, address, and company URL. I have some clever functionality here to pick the image tag here to then display the rating and the review count. Then I also have a clever function here 
to get the address and then display the industry, which actually happens before the address. So it kind of uses a little bit of logic here to determine that and put it in the table. It looks through the entire container for a company URL that isn't this URL, which would be the website URL. And then it uses this regular expression here to find the phone number inside the container. And then it takes all that information, puts it in a return function, and that will be displayed inside of the table when we click on this button here. Then lastly, we just have a couple cleanup functions for downloading the table. So this convert table to CSV string allows us to actually take the table information and put it into a downloadable file. And then this function here to actually download the file and send it to our downloads on our browser. Really simple extension. It's kind of a high level overview breakdown of how this all works. So yeah, I hope you at least learned something a little bit on how this extension works. Once again, I'll have links down in the description below to where you can get all the project files for the scraper. And also while you're down there, make sure to leave a like on this video. Spend a lot of time putting this scraper together. And I know you guys are going to love it, especially if you want to get leads from Google Maps. Also, once again, if you want to work with me in any kind of scraping or automations project, feel free to book a free 15 minute call with me down in the description below. But if you like this video and you want to learn more about web scraping, specifically on a website like LinkedIn, make sure to check out this video here where I show you how to scrape LinkedIn and make personalized AI generated emails with that scraped data. It's a really cool video and I'm sure you're going to want to check it out if you want to step up your personalized outreach game with some AI generated emails. So I'll see you guys over in that video.